everyone. In this video, we're going to do fun styling for the follow on a redirect. So we'll bring Shane into the frame. Let's start out with a shoulder push so we get moving, ready, and walk. One, shoulder push, two, three, and four, five, and six. I'm going to go back, side, hold, through, out, and triple step. So I did a little tap there. I'll talk about that in a minute. A little from this way. Ready, and one, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the first one I demoed without an extra step, that one I demoed with an extra step. So girls, you can find that it's an adjusted step or footwork underneath your body roll or your little tunnel there. So we'll just start to describe this a little bit more in detail here. Just straight into it. Straight into it. So I'm stretching. One. The jaw is going to open up just a little bit more space here. And open it up. I'm going to shift to the right arm too. I'm going to turn my palm right. over to get the elbow up. This allows for a window. If we had it all the way up here and say, hi Shane, I can see you through the window. It's not quite there yet. So as we're going to do the redirect here. I see the opportunity as a follow. Now, I could stick my arm through, or I don't have to. Right now, I'm going to stick my arm through to let the gentleman know I have an idea something's going to be it's happening. Candy, babe. And then I tunnel myself through like I'm a little chipmunk peeking out of my nest in the tree. I continue to finish my rotation and triple step. Now, we're going to talk about that arm just a little bit more. So, as we're coming into the redirect, one wide, two. I talked about going ahead and sticking that arm through, which means my right arm is going to come to my armpit. This is my point of rotation right here. It's my axis. So that's why it's important that the hand comes to the armpit. So that when I tunnel through to let my gentleman know I'm coming toward the end of my revolution, I get to stand my body up, take my hand down to my hip. That increases the depth of the tone here because we're running out of space in the tether. But it helps me unwind as I step to my final foot, and then I can anchor step or do whatever I need to out of that based on what the gentleman is needing. Yeah, so we'll do it from here because my rhythm or my timing by one, two, I'm saying to the girl, I have an idea, but I'm sharing it with her. Let's go swing. Well, really, most swing dancers are um, more of a dialogue than a monologue. And so I'm saying, oh, I hear something coming in the music, but I want to accent or make a change. So I move out one, I'm already starting to lift that hand and open up the frame. It's creating more space here. Two, I flip the hand over as I shift over if to create you, the window. Peek your head on that side, see that's our, no, that yeah. side, there you go, that's our window, yep. Right, so I shift over. As I feel the arm go through, I come back and shift to a very comfortable position for the girl. I've shifted back to the right here that time because I felt like that was the most productive way to have the girl anchor out and then I end up doing a walk walk. If I moved a little faster I might have got there a little earlier and did a trick. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So I did a little shift shift and then anchor step. And that's how we extended it to an eight count pattern. You yeah. can really you can make it a six count if you want to, but you can also stretch it out to fit musically. Yeah, I could add another hand to help carry there. So let's do a sugar push. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So she says, oh, he wants to finish early. So she'll only get a single there and I get a single for that ankle. She, ankle, she wouldn't even get time to triple because she would feel that, that extension start to happen. Now, I know Shane was adding that hand, but leaders make sure it's not too early because yeah, if she starts to come through and you add that hand, she thinks you have an idea if you're going to grasp it and that yeah, you're going to pick it up for something different like a turn. Well, I would. I'd send you under. <laughs> I know you would. I'd step across. <laughs> And then I would shape it differently. But unless you have an idea what you're going to do with it, don't, don't crown for it. Yeah. So that we're under here. When she doesn't look at you anymore and her right shoulder is coming towards you, that you go ahead and start tracing that. So I'd like to show it this way so they can see that. So we walk through. It's once she's already passed you, her right shoulder is coming toward you. His hand is then assisting only if she needs. Um, there's one other thing that I was going to talk about. Oh, because I said you don't necessarily need that arm. If you trust your partner and your uh, 
a use to your partner, then you can take it through with just that little, what I call as a dolphin. It's a sideways and circular body roll. It doesn't actually have to have that hand, but if you're not accustomed to your partner, you need him to let him know you have an idea and you're gonna be executing here. So if you One, need to use two, the arm, it's three, safer. And four, five, six, seven, and eight. That would be the most natural time. And if you don't use the arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kerry did it and five, six. Yes, that's really good. I think that's enough in there, you'll work it out. We'll just do it here one more time with the sugar bush. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, anchor five, and six. That so would be a great move to accent something in the music, and then whatever you want to add to that afterwards to maybe continuing back to your normal swing movements. Enjoy that move, let us know how you go.